Hey guys, welcome to another Razer tutorial. This week is going to be more about a bass sound and I've processed it a little bit further with the guitar rig and I'm going to assume that since you have Razer you also have guitar rig and otherwise there are other ways to do it. So my plan is to use this sound in sort of a, a sort of a more ambient section in, in the song right here. This is the, um, this is the section without the Razer sound. use it uh, it still it doesn't really fit but I think I can I can make it fit is this sound and I just want it to be a little bit on, on the background of the song and I think I'm, when I'm done with it I'm just gonna bounce it to audio and then then I'll make it work um, but without the guitar rig, uh, just inside Razer, it's this sound, and it's just a, a preset that I um, that I added it a little bit further, and it was called what was it called? I don't know. Oh, I think it was the Dirty Pulse Bass preset preset, and I did a few things to um, to change it. Um, but we can just go over over the whole sound. You can recreate it. First, it's on mono. It's on single trigger because I wanted to um, be able to glide and and only play one note at a time, like that. And the glide is set to somewhere around four is fine. I think it's uh, initial preset. It's something like twenty four, but that's way too much. And then you get those sounds. So somewhere around four or five is fine. Um, then LFO1 is on the formant oscillator in the first slot and LFO1 is set to Hertz so it's not synced it's set to um, 0.06 and it's set to a sine wave and then we have an amount of 78 somewhere around there mod wheels on the amp you don't need that color is a little bit up and second formant filter LFO1 is also on the formant and I've set the aftertouch to the formant right there both with an amount of around 30, 35 um, and the waveform is at 1, same for oscillate 1 and here also the color is uh, up a bit to give it a little bit more brightness and ratio it's set to 4 so it's going to be four, time, 4 times the frequency of this uh, first formant oscillator then we have a low patch, low pass filter which is controlled by the pitch track and the pitch track is this one right here and that means that the higher the pitch um, you're playing on your keyboard the, the more the filter is going to open up or the other way around when you drag the modulation to negative values then when you play higher the cutoff is gonna lower you can see that so the higher the higher notes are um, the filters get getting more close and the lower notes, nothing is really happening. Um, then with the boost there, it's all pretty normal. The width is at, what is it, 38 is fine, slope minus 12. We don't use uh, a second filter. Mm, for the effect we have the uh, Centro. It's not really used, only with the mod wheel. So we can use it if we want. My mod wheel is not working, but... We can do that, but we, we don't need that. You can leave that off. For the effect, we have the unison noise, and it's gonna sound a little bit like a reverb by just adding adding noise to the sound. Like that. And then we have a limiter in the last slot right here. A dirty limiter, I should say. Alright. Um, for the envelopes, they are both listening to the echo, the first two. And you can see the settings. Uh, you can see the settings yourself here. First one is listening to velocity, and then we have the safe base, and that's it. So quite a simple sound, but uh, sounding very good, I think at least. Um, and then in um, guitar rig, what I did is because 
This is the sound without guitar rig. And this with. Very old school, almost cliche um, dubstep sounds, but you can make it sound a little bit better. What used is um, the Pro Filter, and the Pro Filter is a very good sounding filter. And I've set the uh, resonance quite high. The slope is all the way down, and it's set somewhere in between a low pass and a band pass filter. So if it's all the way low pass, it's gonna sound like this. And this is a band pass. And band pass filters sound very good with a little bit, little bit of resonance, or with a lot of resonance. And then I modulated that cutoff control with a sequencer. But you could also do it yourself. But you can hear that this filter has a, has a certain quality to it. It's, it's a very nice, uh, very nice filter. Um, to modulate that with the sequencer, you go to modifier and then you drag in your sequencer and you set it to some sort of rate. So now it's 116. And then you can define the steps here. So I get some presets where um, all the steps are down and then you drag this handle this this i don't know what's they called but you drag it to uh, the cutoff or any parameter that you want to modulate then you let go and then wherever you make this slider go up it will open the cutoff <laughs> So I could use, if I wanted to, more uh, sequencers in combination. And another cool parameter on this uh, sequencer is this uh, slide knob and that will open the filter um, faster or slower. So when it's all the way to the left, it's gonna it's gonna open it up faster. It's gonna get more clicky. And the other way is gonna be a little bit slower. It sounds more natural. Um, well, it's still not natural, but it sounds a little bit more, a little bit smoother. Um, so that's all I want to show you for this week. So there's not a lot of homework, just a, just an easy raised sound, but. It, a cool effect and I hope you get something out of that. Thanks!